All right, guys, so this is a short video to show you how to uh, do the lab today and how to use Google Earth to do the lab. So what you want to do is get to your lab folder, right? And we'll go to our lab folder. I'm just going to go to this class right here. Um, it doesn't really matter what class you're in. It's the Latitude and Longitude Google Earth Maps Lab. You're going to click on the assignment and download it. And then open it up. Okay. And there it is. And enable the editing. For this lab, it's going to be very beneficial for you guys to use Google Earth. Google Maps can work, but Google Earth is better. Google Earth either on the desktop that you have or as a website. I'm going to show you how to do it using the desktop app first. And then I'll show you how to use Google Earth as a website if you don't have the desktop app. Every student with a district laptop should have the desktop app or should have Google Earth programmed somewhere on their computer, but whatever. The first six questions, you guys should be able to answer these on your own. I'm not going to show you how to do those. Okay. What I'm going to do now is actually show you guys how to do the first kind of two pages of the lab and then show you how to use Google Earth to do that so you get some familiarity with it. Always ask me questions in class if you have, if you have any further questions. So the first part, you're, the first page here, you're going to be getting a different capital cities. And for each city, I want to want you to search and tell me is the city in the northern or southern hemisphere, and then in the eastern or western hemisphere. So basically, is the city north and south of the equator for this one? And for the eastern and western, is it east or west of the prime meridian? So I'll show you how to do that. And then for the second page, I gave you a whole bunch of different capital cities. I want you to search them, tell me what country they're the capital of, and then the latitude and longitude of that capital, but just the degrees in the direction, so north-south, and just the degrees in the direction east-west. I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is somewhere on your desktop, you should have Google Earth. Um, if not, you could try searching for it. I think you guys have a different Windows than I, so it's a little bit weird. You could try searching for Google Earth somewhere on your computer. But you still have Google Earth as a desktop app. If you don't, try searching for it on your computer if you know how to do that. Um, if not, I'll show you how to use the app, uh, the website, in a, in a few minutes. So you launch Google Earth, the app. To be honest with you, you don't, any of these extra things that pop up, just X, never download anything new. Just X out. Close. Okay. You, you want the grid on your Earth. So you're going to go to View, Grid. Mine's clicked on. So you want that on because it shows you all the different latitude and longitude lines, and but it shows you things like the Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer. If I move my Earth, it shows me where the prime meridian is. And that's helpful. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, here... We're going to take these cities, wrong ones, right? Take these cities, and we're going to see if they're in the northern or southern hemisphere, eastern or western hemisphere. I'll pick one. I'll start with Oslo, Norway. I'll copy Oslo, Norway. Go to Google Earth. And put Oslo, Norway in. And search. And it's going to take me to Oslo, Norway. So how do I know if it's in the northern or southern or eastern or western? Two ways. If you have your grid turned on, as you notice, it's smacking you in the face with a bunch of E's and a bunch of N's. So it means it's in the northern hemisphere and the eastern hemisphere. The other way you can tell is you look in the bottom corner. If you look in the bottom corner, you see N and you see E. N and E. Okay, so that's the other thing. Um, N for Northern Hemisphere, E for Eastern Hemisphere. So then you go back to your lab, and you type in North, Northern, and you type in Eastern. Okay? And then you do it for the other cities. So let's move on to the second page. How do you do that? Well, you're going to pick, let's start with the first one. We'll do the first one. Take Libreville, copy it. Go to Google Earth. we got to figure out the country and its latitude and longitude. Uh, and let's go to our search bar, delete Oslo, Norway, paste Libreville. First thing that pops up is going to be what you want. 
It's Libreville, Gabon, G-A-B-O-N, which is an African country. Click search and it'll take you to that country. All right. So let's go back and it's in Gabon. So that'll be our first thing here, G-A-B-O-N. Now we want the latitude and longitude degrees only. So what's the latitude and longitude? Well, you guys, again, you should see these. If you turned your grid on, you should have these numbers right here. N north zero degrees. So Gabon, or Libreville, the capital of Gabon, is right on the equator, guys. Zero degrees. Longitude-wise, it's nine. Nine degrees, nine degrees, nine degrees east. Now, if you don't have your grid turned on, the other way you can find that out, again, look at the bottom right corner, zero degrees, and the minutes and seconds change, but it's always zero degrees north. It's always nine degrees east. Go back to my assignment, go zero, and then nine east. Okay. And then you continue for the other ones. All right, so if you don't have Google Earth app, you can go to the website. To do that, you just go, uh, just search, go to the taskbar, search Google Earth. Click the first thing that pops up and click launch earth and wait. It will launch, but you're going to do it the same way. When it opens up, there's going to be a little magnifying glass in the upper left corner where you can search and then right there. See, there'll be a little magnifying glass up here where you can search the cities, click. You can search different places. See, I've recently searched Oslo, Norway. And then again, see, it tells you the latitude, east, north, and east. The latitude and longitude in the bottom right-hand corner, just like the other one. Okay? So if you have any more questions for the lab, you guys can uh, go to the chat room for class and ask. Have a great day.